Now, it must have been the day like today, that Sunday, when the two disciples were walking out of Jerusalem on the road to Emmaus. And their hearts were filled with such sorrow. They felt so defeated. They looked at the future and there was no future. In fact, they probably were just looking at the ground. Never even noticed the sun. For their leader, the one that they had put all their hopes in, had been crucified and buried. But someone came up behind them and started to walk with them and asked them a question. Why are you so down? And they got very upset and they said to him, aren't you in Jerusalem? Didn't you see what happened? Didn't you hear what happened? And they explained to him what had happened in Jerusalem. And he, in turn, started to explain to them what the scripture said about what had happened in Jerusalem. And the three of them walked on together until the sun was starting to set. And the two disciples asked our Lord to come and sit and have supper with them, for they all were hungry. It had been a long walk. And Jesus went in with them, and in the breaking of the bread, they recognized who he was. What the story tells us is that when we follow our five senses and depend upon our minds, things may not be what they appear to be. For in their lives, they were downtrodden, they were defeated, they had lost someone they loved very much. For that's what their senses say. And when they got to where they were going to eat, their stomachs were hungry. And they begged Jesus to come in and sit and have supper with them. But in the breaking of the bread, their eyes were opened. And they said to each other, wasn't our hearts filled? Wasn't our hearts burning inside of us as he spoke to us? Things are not what they always appear to be. You were about to receive the Lord's Supper. And again, Lord Jesus tells us that to do this in remembrance of him. So we, when we come forth to participate in the Lord's Supper, we are to remember what he did for us so many, many years ago. To know that we have our redemption and our reconciliation back with the Father through his passion, death, and resurrection. And it takes our mind to remember that. And we dwell upon it in our hearts. And then the Lord said to them, when he broke the bread in the upper room, I shall not do this and drink of this cup or eat this bread until the new in the kingdom of God. So we come to the Lord's table with a tremendous hope inside of us, a hope that's grounded in a deep faith and knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. So we look forward to that day when we will be with Jesus at that fantastic banqueting table with him. But things do not appear as they may be. For we're going to look now at a, at a loaf and a cup and see it with our eyes and, and accept it and take it. But with our hearts, we know that Jesus is present as he was with the two on the road and with the two when they sat and he broke bread. John Wesley understood this concept for he said that when he received communion, he thought of it as food for the road. And you know that John Wesley spent a lot of years on the road going around England, okay, preaching the gospel to people who were not allowed or welcomed into churches. So for us, when we approach the table, we remember what Jesus did for us. We look forward to being with Jesus in heaven for eternity, but we know that he will feed us, grace us, and help us through each day.
Amen.
can only imagine When all I would do Is forever Forever worship you I can only imagine